watching this video tutorial from our course The Ultimate Introduction to Arnold 5 for Cinema 4D. Make sure to visit our website mograflus.com and check the entire course out. Okay, in this lesson we discuss substance support in Arnold for Cinema 4D. If you go to share.algorithmic.com, you can download tons of amazing and free assets and use them inside Arnold for Cinema 4D or Cinema 4D itself. And if you have algorithmic products, you can generate your own substance assets and use them in Arnold. If I go to the material section on the left side, we have different categories to choose from. And in the metal section, I have downloaded this industrial metal asset and you can create an account and download your own asset. In this case, let's see if we can get this industrial metal look using Arnold. So let's get back to Cinema 4D. The first thing you need to do is to load that substance asset in Cinema 4D. So from the pipeline menu, go to the substance engine and choose load substance. I have put my downloaded asset in the text folder of the project files folder for this section. Just need to select this industrial metal walkway.spsar file. As soon as you do so, you can see that particular asset has been added to your Substance Assets Manager and a new Cinema 4D material based on that asset has been added to the Material Manager as well. But we want to create an Arnold material using this asset. So let's put this Substance Asset Manager aside and create a new Arnold shader network. And let's assign it to this cube in the scene. Now this cube has an Arnold parameters tag applied to the subdivision here is set to linear with eight iterations and in the displacement tab bounce padding is set to one. In the shader network, in order to load that substance asset, you need to add a substance shader to the network. So let's add the substance shader. The first thing we need to do is to define the substance asset. So from the substance manager, drag and drop the asset in the assets field of the shader. And one thing that I want to show you is from the edit menu, if you choose substance preferences, I have changed the output channel preview size to medium so you can do that as well. So we are on the same page. Now we can close this preferences window and the substance manager itself as well. Let's get back to the shader network. In the substance shader, if you click on this triangle besides assets, we can see some of the different channels and textures that this asset has and also some other settings that are specific to this asset. For example, we can change the amount of rust on our texture using this rust amount parameter. In the output section, we can see all the texture that this asset provides. We have a base color texture, a normal texture, roughness, metallic, ambient occlusion, and height textures. Different assets can have more or less textures compared to this one. Now we can use these textures to control different attributes of a standard surface shader. First of all, let me increase the rust amount to about 0.6 and set the random C to one, two, maybe three or four. Okay, let's use four. And as you can see, all the textures will adjust accordingly and in real time. So as you can see, these are live assets. You can actually adjust the texture. That's amazing. Now let's change the overall resolution for these textures to 2K. And let me close this asset reference by clicking on this triangle here. Down here using this channel option, you can decide which of the channel or texture we want to use. So let me create a new Arnold standard surface shader. Increase the base weight to one. And in the substance shader node, make sure the channel is set to base color. So we are exporting the base color texture from this particular node. Now connect this texture to the base color of the standard surface shader and connect the standard surface shader to the beauty port. Now we are using this base color texture as our base color basically. The next map we want to use is the metallic map and this will be connected to the metalness input of our standard surface shader. So let's control drag our existing substance shader and select it and change the output channel to metallic and connect it to the metalness input. 
For specular roughness, I'm going to be using this roughness map here. So let's create a copy of our saps and shader and change the channel to roughness and connect it to specular roughness. We also can color correct and adjust the substance shaders as well. For example, let me, uh, if we wanted to uh, add a bit more roughness, for example, to the shader. So let's add a RAM float node and use this substance shader with the roughness texture to the input of the RAM float node and connect the RAM float output to the specular roughness and also connect the RAM flow to the beauty as well. And now we can adjust the bright and dark values of this map. We can, for example, move up this first point and this way uh, make the darker values brighter and this way the sharp uh, reflections will be a bit rougher. But in this case, I don't want to use this roughness, uh, this uh, RAM float node, and I'm gonna directly connect the roughness map to the specular roughness. So can delete the RAM float node. And uh, finally, let's add some displacement mapping. So add a normal displacement map and connect it to the Arnold displacement port. Let's create another copy from one of the existing substance shader that we have. And the texture that we want to use for displacement map is height. So select that and set the scale of the displacement map to about 0 0.02. Now let me render the scene and see what we're gonna get. Now we have this beautiful Arnold shader that was possible thanks to the Substance Asset and Substance Shader. Now the crazy thing is I can control how the shader looks in real time. For example, let's say I want a, a bit more rust on my shader. I just need to Go to my shader network editor, select one of the substance shaders that are referencing uh, our substance asset and let's increase the rust amount to 0.8. And as you can see, this will immediately give us a rustier look and adjusts all the other textures in the network as well. Also, there is actually quite an easier way to convert your substance material or substance assets to Arnold standard surface. What you need to do after adding the substance asset to the substance manager, just select the assets in the uh, manager and in the Arnold menu and material menu, select convert the selected substance asset to an Arnold material. And as you can see, we have a new Arnold standard surface being created automatically using that substance asset and all the textures are connected to the right inputs of the standard surface shader automatically. Now compared to what we made, this shader also has a normal map which we didn't add. You can add that on your own. We had displacement map so I didn't think it was necessary. So that's about substance support in Arnold for Cinema 4D. See you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching this video tutorial from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to Arnold 5 for Cinema 4D. Make sure to visit our website, mograflus.com and check the entire course out.